In this video, I am going to explain the connective tissue around ankle joint. You see, this is the beige tape and white tape. These two colors of tape represent connective tissue around ankle joint. What is it? These are the retinaculum around ankle joint. Retinaculum is a kind of a connective tissue which wraps ankle joint. So what happens if retinaculum gets tight? Imagine when somebody grabs your ankle, can you move well? Probably not. That's why the adequate tension is very important for ankle movement. Let me explain this beige tape. These beige tape are extensor retinaculum, especially this, the upper one is superior extensor retinaculum. And this uh, inferior one is inferior extensor retinaculum. Why extensor? Because beneath retinaculum, the extensor muscles of toes and ankles kind of pass through. Which are they? They are like a tibialis anterior or extensor digitalum longus extensor hallucis longus. These muscles kind of extend toe, you know, tibialis anterior kind of dorsiflex, but you know, these muscles pass anterior to ankle joint. What happens if these retinaculum get tight, you know, compressing, grabbing these muscles? These muscles cannot perform well. So in this case, if extensor retinaculum get tight, it's hard to do plantar flexion. Plantar flexion is point out toe this way. Like, you know, say this tape is not very elastic. See, this cannot do plantar flexion. So this is very important for extensors. And let me explain this white one. This white one is on the medial part of ankle joint. This connects tibia and calcaneus. This is very, very important. Personally, I think this part is most important retinaculum around ankle joint. I'll explain why. So this connects tibia and calcaneus. There are three muscles pass beneath this retinaculum. What are they? They are tibialis posterior. One, flexor hallucis longus, kind of flexes big toe, and flexor digitorum longus, flexes other toes. Why they're so important? Because these three muscles are very, very deep muscles. They are kind of intrinsic muscle for toe and ankles. If these muscles get tight, it has huge effect for ankle mobility and ankle stability. I will say that again, TBR is posterior, flexor hallucis longus, and flexor digitorum longus pass beneath this flexor retinaculum. And one more thing, the one nerve passes beneath this flexor retinaculum. What is it? It is tibial nerve, tibial nerve. Tibial nerve comes from the calf, then goes to inside, and they kind of split. It becomes a medial plantar nerve and lateral plantar nerve. These nerves innervate intrinsic muscles of the foot. What happens if flexor retinaculum gets tight, grabbing like this? These three muscles cannot perform well, or this tightness can create impingement on the tibial nerve. Then, where is this tibial nerve going? To the intrinsic muscles of the foot. That sounds very, very important, right? That is why I emphasize this retinaculum a lot, okay? I'm not saying that extensor retinaculum is not very important. Of course, these guys are important. However, personally, I love flexor retinaculum, okay? So let's go to the lateral side. This white one, there are two retinaculums. This one is very interesting. This is inferior 
fibula retinaculum. It does not directly attach to fibula, but this retinaculum is inferior fibula retinaculum. If you follow the continuation, you can go to fibula like this, but this guy doesn't directly attach to the fibula. However, this retinaculum is inferior fibula retinaculum. If I have inferior fibula retinaculum, I should have superior fibula retinaculum. This guy directly attaches onto the fibula. It connects fibula and calcaneus, okay? Superior fibula retinaculum, inferior fibula retinaculum. What kind of muscles pass beneath fibula retinaculum? There are two muscles, fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. These muscles are very important to evert the ankle joint. Eversion is like this way, okay? So the eversion muscles pass beneath fibula retinaculum. And these retinaculums are not ligament. Ligaments are located even deeper places. So retinaculum is not a ligament. However, I think retinaculum has very big role to stabilize ankle joint. Like, you know, superior fibula retinaculum, it connects fibula and calcaneus. This should have a role for stabilization. And for a flexor retinaculum as well, this connects tibia and calcaneus. You know, this should work as stabilizer and also the extensor retinaculum. I think this retinaculum is kind of a missing piece for ankle mobility. When people have a tight retinaculum, their ankle joint is most likely tight. That is why I keep emphasizing these retinaculum are very, very important. So if you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.